Hey guys, so it's finally time to reduce some more weight on the F-Type R. And when I say some more weight, it's because I've literally taken every panel that I can out of the car that I don't need, whether it's an engine cover, whether it's the little covers over the suspension, any of this plastic stuff, manual, tire inflation kit, etc. It's all out. And uh, here is a anti-gravity battery, which should actually have the biggest weight savings other than the set of fin speed forged wheels that i will be ordering shortly uh, those are going to be amazing and those should save about 40 plus pounds uh, so over 10 pounds per corner on this f type r it has a 3814 pound uh, a curb weight so it's the all-wheel drive it's a pretty heavy car and my goal is to get it down to about 3700 pounds flat if that's even possible, or at least like 37, 20 pounds. Uh, the, down, the down pipes have reduced weight as well over the uh, stock um, uh, catted down pipes. So I think that maybe was another, maybe five to 10 pounds uh, saved. And this here is the anti-gravity H7 battery. It is a 40 amp hour, so they have a choice for the F-Type of a 40, a 60, or an 80 amp hour. And because I literally just drive this car with music playing low or even the radio turned off most of the time, um, unless I'm really jamming as you guys have seen uh, in some past videos, this should be plenty of cranking power, plenty of uh, reserve battery. Uh, for my use. So it's a 40 amp hour. It's a, the battery is actually situated on, in the complete rear. I'm just going to move this out of the way. It's actually situated all the way over here in the driver's side corner. There we go. So as you can see, battery is really positioned far in the back of the car and on the driver's side which doesn't really make sense when you think about balancing weight in a car. Um, you know, they could have maybe put it, let's say right here in the middle, uh, that's wasted space. I don't even know what you would use that for, maybe like a, an umbrella or something. But I think they could have much better centered uh, this battery. And let's go ahead, get this out, and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. So there are, three covers here you first take this cover off in the trunk then this is over the battery then you have to take the little um, cover off there and i'll show you where it is. so that actually exposes by removing those covers and they just they just kind of slide and clip in you got to wiggle them out guys just so um you know if you do want to remove your battery and do the same thing uh you need a 13 millimeter uh, socket or key for the positive remove the positive and for the negative there's that little bolt right there and that's 10 mil it is also a 10 millimeter for these two bolts here so, so once these two bolts are removed here's the fun part you have this stupid little flappy thing right here and you got to remove that bolt right there so yeah i don't know jag i didn't realize the battery was going to go through that much cornering g-force that you'd have to do this but uh hey it's all good. so now that the bracket is off we should be able to just pull this out guys remove this oh yeah that's nice and heavy that is nice and heavy. Let's remove this little, this little vent, a little vent here. Move that out of the way. So that was right in there. Get that in behind there. Okay, guys. Now that I've slid the battery out, you literally have to get that negative out of the way pull it back the battery to the end of this uh, tray, and then it'll slide out from under that bracket. That bracket doesn't have bolts, it's literally just molded in. 
So you really got to just slip its way. So take the battery and pull it out this way. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just a ridiculous uh, thing to remove the battery. Took a couple of minutes to, to twiggle everything around, but it's out. And let me tell you, um, I actually do feel like getting a scale because this thing is very heavy. It's gotta be, I mean, if it's 60, 56 pounds, I gotta go back and do some more weights because it feels like it's 60 pounds and plus. So this thing is a beast. Let me get a scale, let me weigh that. Anti-gravity seems like it's even under the 15 pound advertised weight. And the OEM is exactly what we thought it was around 56 pounds. So 56 minus 14, we're at a 42 pound weight saving. And there we go, it's installed. Because the battery is slightly smaller, um, I did add some uh, a foam strip here um, on this side, which tightened it that way. Now we do have some wiggle back and forth here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some foam in the back here like that. We just eliminate the uh, the wiggling and that's about it. So get some, some of that uh, sticky, uh, so taped uh, styrofoam and just uh, apply it to the sides, um, the three sides here and that's it. What a difference, guys. Amazing. 42 pounds. My scale may be inaccurate under 20 pounds. I don't really think so because it's, it's, it's an accurate, it's quite an accurate scale. So let's say it's a 15 pound battery. It's a 56 pound uh, battery. So you're, you're 40 pounds saved, guys, at least. So it's, it's pretty incredible. And we're going to button this up and now I'm going to take her for a rip. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.